What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, interesting thing. Richard Sherman says that Bobby Wagner news will be uh, coming out soon. Um, so we're assuming that that means that Bobby Wagner has made a decision on where he's going to be. As far as we know, Stephen Jones had said, we're out of the situation. We know Baltimore allegedly made a better offer than the Rams. And the Rams, of course, want him, but they don't have any room. It's amazing to me because I believe the Rams only have $7 million. And I think Baltimore only has $8 million. And, of course, Baltimore is trying to get a deal done with Lamar Jackson long term as well. Of course, the Cowboys have 15 plus another 10 coming in June. And of course, money miser Stephen Jones isn't, uh, isn't into free agents. But it seems to be that the Dallas Cowboys forgot what actually worked for them in getting a Super Bowl. Stephen Jones, who's like, you pay too much for free agents, and we know he wasn't on board with paying Deion Sanders back in the day. He literally threw his dad against the wall, you know, on trying to make the deal with Deion Sanders saying, we're paying too much damn money. So it's always been Stephen Jones who didn't want to spend the money problem is, is right now, that's the new dynamics of the game. You can look at it and say, even back then, the Cowboys making the move to get Charles Haley, which was the power shift that ended up bringing Charles Haley, a, a major asset to the Cowboys and a major deduction for the 49ers defense, that arguably you could say that was the reason why they won Super Bowls, or one of the main reasons. You could look at, say, getting Deion Sanders there was another reason why we were able to get that third one there. And that those things are things that have helped us. And as we go through and we think about it, since that time, since the Dallas Cowboys stopped looking and grabbing talent that way, after, of course, Jimmy Johnson's been gone, the only ones that I can think about, think of that Cowboys did free agent wise was T.O., Brandon Carr, and Greg Hardy. Those are the only free agent big moves that the Cowboys have made since the 90s. It's not a big enough sample to say that it doesn't work. I know the Cowboys have made big trades for wide receivers, and that hasn't seemed to have worked in, in retrospect now that we've traded Amari Cooper. Um, We've done that three times with Amari Cooper, of course, giving a number one to bring him here. He was productive. He was more productive than any of the other two, uh, without a doubt. Um, Joey Galloway definitely didn't. Immediately got here, messed up his knee, and he was pretty much done. And Roy Williams was not the quarterback that we, I mean, the wide receiver that we thought he was, too. But thinking and watching and looking at the Cowboys that are just constantly saying, oh, no, 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 you can't build a team that way. No, you can't build the team that way. But you can make a team better that way. The Cowboys have done well with some of the bargain basement guys. I'm not going to dispute that. That they've done well at finding some good pieces at reasonable numbers. But I'm not going to go on board and say, oh, yeah, Cowboys. You know, this is the only thing you do. If you're able to find good pieces at bargain prices, shouldn't you be able to find excellent pieces with a little more money? Because the shopping is relative. The shopping is relative. If you're able to find some good pieces at bargain basement prices, if you spend a little bit more money and get players that are a little bit better, aren't you better off? So we'll see if there is or what the news is that's going to be coming. Um, they say that it's not 
him going to the 49ers. So it's not him going to the 49ers. So who knows? Who knows? But, you know, I told you guys yesterday that it seems like every other day there's some more news about Bobby Wagner. Have you noticed that? It's like every other day there's some more news. And um, I'm waiting for some more news on Jerry Jones and his situation, the court hearing. That, my friends, is going to be definitely much watch YouTube. Good Lord, Trump. Damn. Damn. I'm glad I didn't stay on his shoulder there because, damn, he went way wide. Anyway, hope y'all are having a great Thirsty Thursday. And um, we'll keep you up to date with everything that is going on with the Dallas Cowboys. Peace.